Hello everyone, welcome to my online geography class, KSK Geography. Here we are going to discuss about the map work of India. You know, in ICSC board exam, map work is very very important. Why? Because first of all, it is a compulsory part and you need to do the 10 features that you need to mark on your board exam. And here, if you will do correctly all those things, you will get 10 out of 10 very easily. But there is a problem. Maximum student, they lose marks in the map work. Why? Due to the lack of seriousness and some basic silly mistakes. So here I am with you to help you to get good marks and how to avoid those silly mistakes. Everything we will discuss in the class one by one. So for that you need to subscribe my channel. Let's start the map work. First of all, we'll talk about the basic things about the ICSC map work. Here you will see this type of map page you will get along with your question paper. And here you need to be very very careful because you will get only one single page of map. You will not get any alternatives if you will make any mistake. So you need to be very very careful for that. And here once you will get the map page, make sure one thing, whatever things you will do that everything you have to do within this box only. This box is for you. It means labeling, marking, everything you have to do in this part. Remember the only for examiner that portion is written below. You should not touch this portion at all. Because that is not for you. So everything you have to mark that it will be there in the Indian map and that map it will be there within the boundary within that space you need to do all those things. Now some other basic guidelines you need to know that there will be the map syllabus that is given under council website. So please go through the map syllabus first and divide the map syllabus as per the different heading like mountains, river, plateau, plains, water bodies. In that way, if you will divide the map work syllabus, it will be easy for you to remember all the map features. Now let's see, here guidelines for map work, mountains remember to be marked with a brown color with a single line. Mountain need to be marked with a brown color with a single line and direction of the mountain you should keep in mind for marking it. Next, plateaus to be marked with orange color. This color is very very important because these are the specific color you need to use. Mountain although you can use black color but I will suggest you should use the brown color. Why? Because the, you will get the map page there India map along with the river line it will be marked with black color. So there may be confusion so that's why it's better if you will use the brown color. Although rest of the things we will discuss later. Next one, water bodies. Remember, water bodies need to be marked with blue color. It means water bodies means lake as well as the river line. Everything you need to mark with blue colors. As the river line, remember one thing, river line, it will be already marked in the map with the black color. But the river line you need to mark in exam that you just you need to highlight the river line with blue color. Next some other features like map or guidelines overshading you should not do. You have to make sure there should not be overshading. If you will shade at least 75% area then also it's fine you will get marks. The shade all the river from sources to the river mouth from the starting point to the end point and the river River name you should mention over the Indian part only, right? The port city is to be marked with the land portion only, not in the water bodies. Next, mark the plate to whole or dissected, everything is fine. That everything we'll discuss later on topic wise one by one. Gangatic plains, remember, it should be marked on Indian part only. It should not go in Nepal. On the other hand, Himalayan mountain, you should not come on the Gangatic plain area you should be on the Nepal. So those are the things you need to remember here. Next mountain range to be shown with a line and peak should be marked with red color triangle like this. On the other hand path symbols you know it should not be horizontal it should be vertical but make sure it will be little bit tilted. Next one the arrows very very important point arrows 
according to the ICC guidelines, you can use arrows, but make sure that it will be my suggestion, you should not use arrow marks because there is a lot of confusion. You have to make the map page neat and clean. So that's why there's a no point of using arrow marks. You should label it along with the map features only because the question paper it will be made by the council. The features you have to mark on the map that it will be very plain it will be given and you will get enough space to write down the things. And if by any chance there will be no scope of writing nearby that place, so in that case you should use arrow marks but make sure the arrow marks direction should be towards the features otherwise you will not get marks. Next the conventional colors you should use and that I have already discussed and we will discuss further in details when you will do the map features one by one. For that you need to subscribe my channel for all the map features and topo map along with the chapter wise all the concept. For that you need to subscribe my channel. Thank you.